Since buying this 110 year old cottage in Texas, I've been so grateful to my parents and Romeo for helping me demo and transform this house into a home. But this week I've decided to tackle the demo inside all on my own. So let's see how this goes. Hi, we got some fun. I know, I just keep smiling at this house. Every time I turn on the camera, every time I walk in, it's just like a big old smile. It's not wearing off. Um, so we've been doing so much work. We've been clearing out the back, getting ready to build the guest cottages. We've been tearing off those poorly added on additions to the house, the sleeping porch and the craft room and the hot tub room. We have one room left on the back that we do need to demo completely off, which is the laundry room. And we're gonna do that too. But we're gonna do that this week. But I really wanna focus on the inside of the house, specifically the doors I wanna start with because I have to start sourcing doorknobs. Because look at this. No doorknob on this pretty door. No doorknob on two doors in there. No doorknob over here. A lot of missing doorknobs. Now some of them, I think they just never close the doors so they never have <laughs> doorknobs. Other ones have holes for doorknobs but then don't have them. Did they sell them in the estate sale? I don't know, but we have to start sourcing doorknobs. And I know that I'm gonna be particular. We need to start matching up these doors now so that I can see, do I need two knobs for those sets of doors because those are going together. I need one knob for this one, this is specific. So I've gone through the entire main cottage taken pictures of all of the doors. You guys have probably seen this. I've shared it in like my plans. Where they are currently and then where they're going to be going in the new kind of layout. I also have a little helper today. Are you gonna say hi? Oh, are you gonna help mom today? So I've got some masking tape and a Sharpie and I'm going to put a small piece of masking tape on each door, writing where they're going to go so that I can start putting them back in the workshop kind of in order. So probably go pretty fast once I start going. Okay, main bathroom, coffee pantry one and two. This one, where do you go? Guest closet door. This door was like t painted shut. I'm gonna go outside and see if I can push it open. I wanna see what the other side looks like. Oh, yeah. This side actually has a pretty face plate. Like that's really pretty if we could just like strip it. So we just need to find the other side. There's, there's no hole, there's no doorknob. I don't think you guys got to fully appreciate this front door that I absolutely love. I'm not super, this is original obviously and it's gonna stay. I'm not super in love with any kind of glass like this, but the door itself is so beautiful. The vintage doorknob, which is absolutely gorgeous. That sounds like this. But look, but look at the back of the doorbell. Look how beautiful this is. It's just so freaking cool. I love this door so much. I love all the detailing here in the paneling. Glass was already broken when we toured the house. So we've got to find a really pretty inset of some kind. Cause this, this is the hallway closet right now and it's still going to be the hallway closet. It's just going to be right here on the other side of this. So it's, only gonna be mute, moved a few feet. Now we're gonna take them all off and I'm gonna haul them to the workshop. Exhausting. Wish me luck. Where do I start? I did it. I don't know why, but when I do something all on my own, it makes me feel so satisfied. Like the last one, I'm like, yes, I did that. Oh, they're all back there. 
I'll show you. Okay, so the larger part of the workshop has lower ceilings and not as much sunlight. Like I have the door open right now just to see in here. So I planned on using the majority of this for like longer term storage stuff. And then all of the windows that we've been breaking down off of those additions are gonna be stored in here too. And then this is where I'm actually gonna restore a lot of the stuff and work on them because there's a door that goes out this way. I put the taller doors in here already. So that was a lot. What are we gonna do now? I feel like we should demo something. Just me and you guys today. Well, me, you, and Kinsley. Let's go check on Kinsley. How are you doing, princess? Hi. This is fun, but I can't wait to get to the funner stuff, like seeing it come to life and like, you know, paint and pretty things. This is like a lot of hard work. Kind of waited last for this room because there's a lot of plumbing in here because of the laundry. But things that I can do, remove these shelves, take the trim off the windows, get that prepped. Um, and I can start removing some of the trim off of the door frame. I can remove the floor, things I can do. So let's, let's, you know, let's work on that. I don't know why, but some things in this house, like the electrical, the plumbing, things like that were done horribly. But then there are other things that were like built overboard. These, look at all of these screws. Like why on earth would they need to have put that many screws? I get making sure that it's secure so that it can, you know, it's not gonna fall off the wall and it holds enough weight, things like that. But that's 22 screws in one panel. That, that's a little excessive. This is gonna take me a while. and green <laughs> oh so if all of the siding that's in here behind this wall is still good that's gonna be huge it's expensive you gotta save all your stuff okay those are all separate hangers you guys need some hangers <laughs> some little hangers screws on this that are stripped that I can't get out with the drill that I thought I could just you know demo it off like nails there's so many I will get this thing off I will just gonna take a break <laughs> work smarter not harder finally got those screws off well all but one of them yes 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 frustrating in so many ways. I just owned this cabinet, but it did take me about an hour. <laughs>
I've got one more to go. I'll suffer through this by myself. Three, two, one. Woo! That one was harder than the other one. I'm just kidding. That one was a lot easier. <laughs> That's not too bad for a day's work. I got all the doors labeled, figured out, off, and in the workshop, ready to be stripped to go back into the house. And the inside of this demo, oh, it's 6.30, that's why I'm tired. See you guys in the morning, yeah? Hi, good morning. So I thought about it. I was like, okay, I did that room in the laundry room. I'm so proud that I got all that out. Thought about it last night, the kitchen's happening. I definitely want to get all of the cabinets out. My parents are coming over here to take the washer, dryer, and refrigerator that's in here. Still in good shape. They're a little older, but they're still in good shape. So my dad wants to use them out in his shop. So these are gonna be gone. So why not do the kitchen cabinets? All of this, all of this. All the top cabinets, all the bottom cabinets, all the, all the cabinets, all the cabinets. And then we'll have all of this demoed. Let's do it. So I got the majority of the kitchen off all by myself, you guys. Now that the cabinets are off, you can see how many different colors this kitchen has been over the years, which is kind of cool. But there's this one section left of the counter that has the sink in it, and the water has been turned off since yesterday, um, and I drained all the pipes, but for some reason, this like reverse osmosis kind of RO drinking water thing still has water going to it, which is crazy, because how, if I had the water turned off? Now I'm outside trying to see where those lines go. There's two lines that go out here. This is the water heater. Oh, uh, it's in here. Oh, the tanks must not be empty. Okay, I'm gonna try and drain those lines. Maybe the tanks in here are just really full. So I'm not leaving it on long enough to see if it's actually empty. So let me see. That just goes to show you that anything is possible. So since I don't have the upper body strength that my dad and Romeo do, but so I had to work smarter once I figured out how the cabinets were put together and put onto the wall, it was easier to take off. So I started from the last thing that they attached and just worked my way through it. Made sure that I stood, I was out of the way from the cabinets falling and I was like careful. So if you wanted to do this too, you could. My dad just came by and picked up the refrigerator and also the washer and dryer. So all that's gone. So I got one more cabinet, this taller cabinet to do, and then I'm gonna take up this floor. Look at this floor. And then this whole room is gonna be demoed. Can you believe it? I did it, I did this all by myself. <laughs> demoed all the kitchen cabinets, all the floor in the kitchen. The only thing left in here is the stove, but my dad took the refrigerator and the washer and dryer. 
and then all of the laundry room. Definitely want to reuse the wood that's in the laundry room floor um, for something, whether it stays there or kind of, we kind of rework it. And then we were really concerned with the, the wood that was underneath the kitchen floor because you just couldn't see it. Especially concerned with the wood around the window because it just looked so wet, like it had drained, run over, leaked. Um, it doesn't look great. It doesn't look as bad as I thought. So either patching it or doing something, we'll have to um, see what we have to do. But let me give you a little tour of what this will be. So this is like probably the fourth location of their kitchen. We They moved it around the house. This is an addition. So this is an original to the house. The laundry room and the kitchen is not original to the house as of 1910. I already did make some modifications to my original sketch to reuse the majority of the walls that were already existing in terms of just keeping the integrity of the house and saving money, saving on the budget. It was all gonna work in our favor. So my plans originally called for this wall to be about a foot that way into the other room. And I was like, no, 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 we're saving the wall. It's definitely worth the extra square footage. So moved it this way. So this wall right here, this doorway is gonna close up. Kind of we're shifting that door over and it's be, gonna become the walkway. Um, so it's gonna come from the pretty transom entryway back to the bedrooms and the bathrooms. Uh, so it needs to kind of be over here. So that's gonna be a solid wall. Now we're just gonna close that up and reuse the transom. <laughs> Walk down the hallway right here. And I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna open the door right here and I'm gonna walk in to the guest bathroom. This is gonna be the guest bathroom right here. Seven feet wide. So let's put some masking tape here. From this wall here, we're gonna go seven feet. And then it's three, four, five, six. 10 foot deep this way. The door is about right here, a foot off of the wall. So you walk in and then right here, there'll be the vanity and then the toilet and then along the back wall will be the tub and shower. I have some really cool inspiration pictures of kind of the direction that I wanna take the design in that or some small details that I wanna add in um, to make this kind of basic layout. So I wanna bring in some really cool elements to make it feel cottagey, but like designer. Like it, it's, it's got some, it's not builder grade, you know? Here you'll obviously have four and a half inches for the thickness of the wall. And then on the other side starts the primary or main bathroom suite. Another reason why I really sketched the bathrooms on this side is to utilize the plumbing lines that were already here. So we've already got plumbing because it was the kitchen and the laundry. So we've got plumbing going to both places. So it's gonna be really easy and cost effective to utilize the plumbing we have and then keep the bathrooms together with just a wall separating them. So plumbing is just kind of running all to the same space. I'm so excited. I can't believe I did all this by myself. I'm so, wow. But I hope you guys enjoyed demoing with me over the last couple of days. This was so much fun. I can't wait to get some more doors for the guest cottages and we've met with builders. I'm like so excited to get that project started back there. So I'm gonna be showing you guys like finalized plan. We're gonna go shopping for tiling and we need to decide what we're gonna do in the fireplace. We have, we have so many decisions to make that we need to make before they start building because that's a new build and I want someone, a contractor to come in and frame it, do drywall, lay the foundation, do the roof, do the siding, things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you've missed any of the videos in renovating our 110 year old cottage, I'll leave the playlist down below for you so that you can watch all the rooms that we've been demoing and all of my design plans and we're getting everything out so that we can start back again. <laughs> um, if you're not already subscribed, to hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you know exactly when I upload every Sunday here and over on my vlog channel every middle of the week. So Tuesday, Wednesday, I upload behind the scenes, flea market shopping, thrift shopping, things like that. So go check that out too. And I'll see you guys next week. I gotta go um, home to Kinsley. She's probably missing me. <laughs> Bye guys. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. It's a new flea market. These are from the 1700s, which is so cool. And I like that they have the original plate. 
this is what we're looking for. Oh my gosh. And they're oval shapes. 